Now, if you look at the uh, bread pudding here, you'll notice that I've had I've let it set. In fact, I've even kind of pushed it down a little bit so it absorbs all of the uh, the juice, you know, all of the custard. Well, we're going to bake that a little bit, but before we do that, I want to point out two things. Number one, you can put, normally I would put uh, uh, some chopped pecans on in there as well, uh, because I didn't do that because Dave had to have a nut allergy, so we didn't want to have dinner and a show. But normally you can also put nuts in there, but believe me when I tell you that even just with the raisins and the bread and everything, it's going to be really good. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is the fact that what goes with wonderful New Orleans dessert. Well, New Orleans coffee. And if you've ever been down to the French Quarter and been down to Cafe Du Monde, had some of their wonderful coffee, people always ask me, how can they make their coffee so robust and smooth? And I tell them, there's one secret ingredient. And here it is. And this happens to be French market coffee with chicory. It's chicory that gives it that polish. And what I'm going to do is show you how to use this because you don't want to make this like regular coffee. You're going to end up with Mississippi mud. In fact, the only way you can do this if you make it straight is you blend it half and half with hot cream, which is, of course, cafe au lait. But to make coffee out of this, what you do is you take the coffee, you pour it into the bowl, and then you take another premium coffee. In this case, I happen to get Kenya coffee. But you can use, you want to use any type of premium coffee. In fact, when you change the coffee, you change the entire flavor of the of the, of the mix, but the point is, is you take a pound of coffee and you mix it in with that 50-50 and then you're going to have that wonderful New Orleans blend. We're going to have that with that, but we have one saying here, friends don't let friends drink Folgers, so for God's sakes, don't use the cheap coffee if you've gone out and bought the good chicory stuff. So we're going to put the quinoa right into the pot here, the whole thing, all right? And this is a very delicate procedure. You take a big spoon and you mix because you want to get that all blended in. You can actually see it. It's starting to almost look like chocolate pudding here because you can see the darker roast, which was the chicory coffee, mixing in with the quinoa beans. And you want to get that blended down 50-50. Now, if you end up, and you can say, what am I going to do with two, can two pounds of coffee? Well, it's very simple. You put it back into the container. In fact, I usually keep an extra one of these for the other pound. And you can keep it in the refrigerator. I mean, this stuff will keep a long time. Of course, when we drink coffee around here, it doesn't take that long for us to use it up. So what we're going to do is a little later on, we're going to actually have the coffee with our bread pudding. But the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to introduce my brother Dave, and he's going to show you how to make our first entree of the Cajun cook-off, which is Cajun meatloaf. And mm -mm, that is going to be some good Cajun eats. All right, no, this is not the dessert. This is actually just our blended coffee. Now, the first thing that you want to know about coffee is you want to use enough. All right, we put eight cups of uh, water in here. What we're going to do is we're going to use eight scoops. That's right, eight. One, two, if we can still count to eight after having about six beers. There we go. We'll show you what the finished product looks like in just a few seconds. We'll do the coffee test here. And here's, here's the other test for coffee. Okay, put a little bit of cream in it. And it should not turn white. There you go. Actually, I need a little more cream. Which Dave has almost none of. It's a beautiful thing. There we have it. We have our bread pudding with Chantilly cream and our robust New Orleans coffee. And by the way, this is the cure to hot mouth right there, that cream. All right, that will help that out too. Anyway, see you next time on Man Cave Mudgies.